I have a GitHub repository here. So this is from this user and this is the project. Now I'll show you how to download this or how to clone this and how to open this in Visual Studio Code and how to run this. I'll show you two methods to do this. First is if you have Git installed and the second one is if you don't have Git installed. So if you want to see how to install Git, check the link in the description. And if you don't want to install Git and you just want to download this and run this and don't want to do anything with GitHub, you can just skip the first part and probably second or third minute, I'll show you how to do it without using Git. Okay, so first copy this URL. Now make sure the URL is correct. That is the username and then the project name. If you are in some URL like this, so as you can see, it's username, project, then there is uh, tree, main, fonts, file. So this is the wrong URL. There just needs to be the username and then the product. Nothing needs to be here. So if I go back again, now your URL should have this code button. So this is the right URL. Okay. So what you can do is you can just copy this and go to wherever you want to create your folder. Now no need to create the new folder because when we download this hello world project will all automatically be created so now what you want to do is hold shift and right click and you will see this option open git bash here click on this and type this command git clone and the url that you have just copied in the end type dot git hit enter and now as you can see it will show you this message cloning into html css hello world and now the cloning is complete so if I go inside this, I'll have everything here as I have in my repository here. So the project is downloaded. Now let me show you how to download it without using git, that is without this terminal. And after that, I'll show you how to open it in Visual Studio Code and how to run it. Now let me delete this. So another method is if you don't have git, what you can do is just click on this and click on download zip and this folder or this repository will be zipped and it will be downloaded. Now what you can do is go wherever this is downloaded, copy it from wherever you want to keep this, paste it here, right click on it and click on extract all. And I'll remove this because if I just click on extract, there will be two folders created. Uh, let me show you what happens if you don't change anything. Click on extract and now this folder is created. Now double click on this and inside again this folder is created so what you can do is just go inside this copy everything that is select everything that is control a right click and cut uh where is it i don't see any cut here so what i can do is control it to select everything control x to cut it here and then i'll paste it here there's control v and delete this folder now so now directly inside that folder we have our code now let's open this in visual studio code and run it so press windows and type visual studio code and open it. Once your visual studio code is open, click on file and click on open folder. Now go wherever we have extracted our folder that is in D drive for me and select this folder and click on select folder. So you can click on no, I don't trust the authors or click on trust the authors for now. Now everything is here. So this is the index.html. Now what you can do is to run this, click on this run here and click on run without debugging. And select the browser which one where you want to open this, I'll select Chrome. Okay, now as you can see, this is open in Chrome and this is how you can download or clone projects from GitHub and run it in your Visual Studio code. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.